Breaking, breaking, breaking. Now the Kalo have been arrested. <laughs> the Afra hero. Why is it like it's not possible? It's possible. Nobody knows the ways of God. The ways of God are not our ways. Do you know what it means for someone to live in fear? Is that how he's going to live the rest of his life, living in fear? All we should be talking is let the will of God be done. Because his ways are not our ways. We don't have to be talking as if we don't know the way God works. Or maybe being afraid. Or maybe start blaming or crying or mourning or whatever. This is the time for us to know who is who. And if you are still doubting, maybe where you are, you believe that uh, you, you are not believing it, or you don't believe it, or you don't think maybe. There's this video that you will watch. Maybe after listening to that video, or after you watch the video, then I will still come back to summarize. But I want you to know that with God, all things are possible. Him being arrested, do you see like maybe it's the end of the world? No. Maybe bringing him in Nigeria can bring peace. Maybe him being arrested, maybe, I mean, he can bring peace. Do you know how many people we are talking of? People who have died? Should we continue in killing, killing people are dying? Let's watch and see. Guys, watch the video and let's see what is going to happen. Watch the video. Very cool. That Mr. Inland Dikanu, mm -hmm. the self acclaimed leader of proscribed IFO, was sometimes back arrested precisely on the 14th day of October 2015 on 11 count charge bordering on terrorism, treasonable felony, managing an unlawful society publication of the parametric matters, illegal possession of firearms, and improper importation of goods, among others. You may also recall that the judge at the Federal High Court, Abuja, on the 28th March 2019, revoked Kanu's bail that was granted him on health ground and issued a bench warrant for his arrest on the same date over his failure to appear in court for hearing. He has, often dropping bail, been accused of engaging in subversive activities that include inciting violence through television, radio, an online broadcast against the Nigerian state and institutions. Kanu was also accused of instigating violence, especially in southeastern Nigeria, that resulted in the loss of lives and property of civilians, military, paramilitary, police force, and destruction of civil institutions and symbols of civil authorities. Self-acclaimed leader of the proscribed secessionist indigenous people of Biafra, Nambi Kanu, has, for your information, been intercepted through the collaborative efforts of the Nigerian intelligence and security services. He has been brought back to Nigeria in order to continue facing trial after this affairing while on bail regarding a living count charge against him. Recent steps taken by the federal government so to the interception of the fugitive Kanu on Sunday, the 27th day of June. 2021 Nigerian passport number AO A051368278 first issued on the 17th October 2013 at first start.
Lagos, distinguished members of the press. Kanu is as at now being produced before Federal High Court in continuation of hearing of his case and respect of which he has evaded and indeed jumped bail of the press. Are you still doubting? Because many people, you know, that some are confused. Some are, they were like, you know, that is a lie, it's a lie that then and the Carlo have not been arrested. As I'm talking to you, Nandi Kalo is in Nigeria. You know, they even said that they took him. You know, I don't want it to be like maybe I'm the one that said it, you know. I mean, he cannot just come out and start saying that the leader of uh, IPOP, Nandi Kalo, has been arrested. I mean, it's too mature to come out, you know, to start saying anything like that. So we all now, we have to be aware that Nandi Kalo is in Nigeria and he has been arrested. So what's the way forward? What's the next step? That is what you people will be talking about. It's not, ah, I don't think it will not happen. You see, for me, all things work together for good. If God allow it to happen, it's for good. That is how I see, that is how I look at it. I don't see like, hey, this is a time for you people to be mourning IPOP or whosoever. I don't see like maybe it's a time for you people to say, why no? Why no? Why? Do you know what it means for someone to stay out there living with fear? You know, all I know is that the heart of the king is controlled by God. The heart of the king, the heart of whosoever, even um, President Buhari, all those who are involved, they, their heart is controlled by God. And they only do what God wants them to do. And if you say maybe, hey, you love Nigeria, or maybe let's say that you love Finland, the Kalo, or maybe you want peace, all you'll be doing is just prayer. Be praying for him, be praying for the peace of Nigeria, be praying for God's intervention. I mean, for me, I'm not seeing it like, ah, why did it happen? If, I mean, bringing him in Nigeria will bring peace, look at what is going on in Nigeria, killing everywhere, people are just dying. People are dying, they are just killing innocent people. Many people have died because of uh, all this, you know. For me, all I want is peace. And if God has already ordained it that uh, there will be a Biafra, no man, no woman will stop it. But if it is not the will of God, I mean, it will happen. But for me, the way I look at things, that is how God wants it. Now the Kalo has been, you know, has been moving around, he has been in... Um, European country he has been in many places. He has been traveling, meeting people, you know, and nothing happened to him. But if at the end of the day, this is a time for him to be arrested, of course. Are you seeing it like maybe, oh, I mean, the will of God will not come to pass? It's if maybe people who are fighting, you are fighting because of your own interest. If really your, your will, or maybe you are fighting, is maybe for the peace or referendum, listen to this man. From the starting, you will know that Nandi Kalo is not really fighting for war. What he's looking for is peace referendum. He's not fighting for what I have been listening. And I mean, if you ask me, what is your view? What is your mind? What do you think? Nandi Kalo, I didn't say anything like maybe they can just say, okay, Nandi Kalo uh, did this or that, you know? So, but all I can say, Nigeria government, please. Let's peace reign. Let's peace reign. Coming to him, I mean, it's not the end of the world. You people should know how you are going to handle him. Don't see like maybe, oh, yes, he, I mean, he has been caught. We will deal with him. No. Look about the, the story. Look about what happened. When Jesus was moving from one place to another, what happened to him? Jesus was betrayed and was killed. And the key was what? The key was what? It brought breakthrough to the world. So we are not talking about killing now. All we are talking is about the will of God. That is what we are talking. Now the Kalo now, yes, is a custody of uh, uh, Nigeria or DSS or whosoever. For me, I don't see like maybe it's the end of the world. I see like maybe the will of God must be done. Because God's ways are not our ways. And the way I'm looking at things, I don't think that it's for bad. I see it like it's for good. I don't think the way I'm looking at things is not for harmful or I, I think it's a kind of uh, maybe, you know, 
coming together one on one and talk a kind of a peace talk that is how i'm looking at it so this is a time for you to pray this is a time for us to come together and pray and this is not the time for us to start saying uh -huh. but i thank god you know reading you know on people message their comment what people are saying i mean at least it, it gave me some hope that people really love him and the people like some of the things that uh, let me not say you know people like what is going on um, in the aspect of uh, him being a fighter take for instance uh, Nelson Mandela what happened to him so if God has what God has written no one can raise it so if God have said that Biafra will come Biafra will come if God said Biafra will not come Biafra will not come but if him coming to Nigeria will bring freedom I mean it's okay so to add to what I'm talking Nigeria government please remember that this man lost his parents because of this fight remember that this man lost his parents the, the, the father the mother died because of this so please I am begging that you guys should handle it peacefully let it be a peace talk try to know why he's doing this try to know his mind you know, because I don't think that uh, his intention was for bad. I don't think. So, but Nigeria government, all I can say is, please, you guys should handle it peacefully. It's not by me. We all will die one day. Many has died. People who don't even believe that they will die. You can just wake up in the morning and just like that. You might be thinking, hey, yes, Anand Kalo has been caught. Yeah, I will deal with him. After saying you will deal with him, at the end of the day, you can just end up regretting. So you don't happy. Bible say mourn with those who are mourning, rejoice with those who are rejoicing. But in this issue, I don't see it like mourn. I'm seeing it like the will of God. Let the will of God be done because the ways of God are not like our ways. That's just it. So nobody knows what will happen. Nobody know the next step. Nobody know the next thing that will happen. So all we need is just to pray. And for the Biafras, for the Igbos, or people who love him, I mean, people who hurt him, Jesus was hurt. Jesus said, if I was beat, you know, for your sake, I was hated for your sake, they will hurt you, but be patient. So this is not the time. You can be anyone can be a victim, but the way I'm looking at things, and the way I'm seeing Nigeria government, the way they are doing things, I don't think it's for bad. I don't know. This is just my view. I don't, because I didn't, I listened to the news. I listened to him talking. You know, I don't see anything bad. You know, he read what happened, you know. Then he said that Nandi Kalo is back, you know, to continue his trials. So I don't see anything like arrogant or something bad, you know, listening to him. So, for me, I just see everything like that is how God wants it, and the will of God must come to pass. Okay, guys, let me know what you think about the video. Like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, and let's keep praying and allow the will of God to come to pass. This is not the time of mourning, it's not the time of crying, this is not the time of answering why. This is the time for us to say, Father, let your will be done. Peace. Peace, 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 peace. I love you. Bye-bye. Ciao. Okay, guys, I'm taking him to court. I want you to watch this video. You know, then you will know all what is going. Listen to the video for you to be current, to know what is going on. They took him to court. Then after they caught something before they now took him somewhere else, which we don't know for now. So just continue to watch the video. So let's keep watching and see what will happen. The court where the two came.
You don't have to mourn, just be praying. That's just what we need for now. Paul brought it back to July 26 and 27. You can hear the lawyer talking about it. Ask you to that they defend your female, that the defender should be able to inform the defense lawyer about the state and the We were witness to. Is the lawyer talking about it? That they were weakness. So should I say the rearrangement? Is it rearrangement per se? And this is so the lawyer. rearrest and uh, the rearrangement of uh, Mr. Nabikan in court today. We were fortunate enough to be within his court premises while the the DSS uh, came to court with uh, Mr. Nabikan. Um, we were also privy to be in court while. Uh, uh, a date was fixed for the continuation of his trial, uh, which is the 26th day of July 2021. And then um, in the interim, he has been ordered to be remanded in court. From somewhere to the federal high court to be arrested. I wrote down here to ensure that his rights are protected because I've been a victim of this kind of uh, kangaroo system of justice before. Uh, unfortunately, upon arriving here, I heard that he's been moved out to another location. I don't know which location, whether it's DSS or... Uh, so, is it to the DSS or DSS? So, uh, I'm here to ensure that he gets justice. No matter what the allegations are, what, no matter the gravity of the allegations, he deserves his day in court. And I know that Nigerian justice system has collapsed. I do not have respect for the rights of people who are accused of any kind of crime. In fact, people who should have been in detention, people who should be in jail are the one managing Nigeria today. And I want to make it very clear that it is not a crime to ask for self-determination. It is not a crime for anybody to say that they are tired of a regime that doesn't work for them. I am not in support of a breakup of Nigeria because I believe that Nigeria can work if it has the right kind of leadership. But I'm not opposed to people who are asking for the breakup of Nigeria because they are not getting justice. As long as justice is established, Nigeria will not need to think about breakup. But as long as there's no justice, people will continue to agitate for all kinds of things that can give them a reprieve from this heavy burden that is called Nigeria. So I just met uh, my attorney here and said that he's been moved to detention. I assume that is to the uh, the SSS facility. I hope uh, he's given the kind of uh, treatment he deserves and not he's not tortured. Yeah. Yes. So he'll be here on the 26th and all of us will be back here. I don't even know whether I will also be caught on it in this case, just as everybody in the world was interested in my own case. Uh, so that's why I came. Yes. yes. Although Nambikano's trial was slated for October 20, 2021, it was brought down to July 26, 20 Okay, guys, it's good. You know, I just have to, it's like an evidence. I brought out evidence for you to, you know, to be sure. People who are still doubting, some are still saying it's a lie. So without me showing you this video, you know, I mean, you might be thinking that uh, maybe everything is just uh, a lie or maybe whatever. So that is why I have to do this, you know, for you to watch the video and know that, I mean, we are not like maybe playing here or like saying it's a lie or whatever you know the good news is is this they said that it's going to come that you know, that uh, they will see it's going to come back you know on the 26th you know that is what i just heard they said on the 26th it will be in the court on the 26th so let's just watch and see for people who really want to hear him you know speak or people want to see him face to face they say on the 26th so on the 26th you know I will still, you know, update you of what is going on. So, guys, let me know what you think about the whole thing, the whole saga. I'm happy to see she were voicing out, you know. You see, the ways of God are not our ways. That's how I see things. I don't know. I'm 100% convinced that everything is going to turn around for good. And everything is going to work for, for the good of Nigeria. 
for the good of everybody. That's how I'm saying it. You know, I'm just sensing it in my spirit that everything is going to work for good. And if maybe brought him in Africa or him coming back to Africa, I don't know, I'm going to present it. I mean, that will bring peace in Nigeria. Then it's okay. But for me, um, I don't really see um, Nandikalu as a, a person that is, you know, I don't really see him like a problem to Nigeria, you know, because uh, there are some other things too that Nigeria government have to look onto too, like all this uh, Boko Haram, you know, and all this uh, unknown, gun, unknown government or what they call them and all this whatever, and all this uh, material or what they call them, I might not mention them, you know. Uh -huh. So, but there are some things that the Nigerian government really needs to. So, back to what I'm, I'm saying, you know, you know, there are still people who are still terrorizing Nigeria, Miti Alam, Boko Haram, Fulani, Esme, and some other things. Nigerian government, you guys have to look, you know, uh, on it and see how peace will come to Nigeria. You know, I mean, bringing all these things together and then uh, fight for. For the right thing, then peace now will not reign in Nigeria. Then we have peace. Nigeria is a country that uh, you come, you relax. You know, God bless us with a lot of things, mineral resources. God bless us with good weather. I mean, Nigeria is a place to be. But you know, hearing all this, you know, happening, how people are just dying, killing everywhere. I mean, Boko Haram and the rest of it. I mean, it's something that that is. I don't know. I'm gonna put it. I mean, that is being discouraged. So let me put it in this form. So, Nigeria government, all I am begging, let's peace reign. Peace, peace, that is what I am begging, you know, and um, this is the time for us to keep praying, open our eyes, and allow God to have his way. No one is bigger than God. Nobody is bigger. The heart of the king is controlled by God. So the heart of whosoever is controlled. If God allow it to happen all i know is for good i don't know it's for good because this man cannot remain in fear through other i mean can't you see sure he can't remain it's better for him to come back face his trials and let's know the way forward it's better he cannot stay remain in fear and uh, i mean but nigeria government remember that this man lost his parents because of this so let's be straight Let's be strong. I love you. I love you all. I love Nigeria. I love Nandikalo. I love everybody. All the fighters. I love Shure. I love them. Sunday boy. I love everybody. Peace, 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 Nigeria. Peace, peace, peace to everybody. I still remain at that teaching. At that teaching, Wachuku in the building. My channel is about being positive. Being positive in life. That's the key that leads to success in every circumstances. Be strong in a lot and never you give up. Be strong, be strong, and never you give up. Bye-bye, guys. Let me know your comments in the comment section. Subscribe, like, and comment. Like, 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 and keep praying. Open your eyes and continue to pray and let God intervene. What God cannot do does not exist. I love you guys. Bye-bye for now. Ciao. I love you.